saints. We often think of them as very pious yet stern and distant people. They seem to be on a different level from you and me. Even our modern day models of holiness seem too holy for us. But the truth is, all of us are called to be holy. Yet, we do not have to be in church all day to be holy. We can simply live our lives by following the commandments of God and responding to His call to do even more. And yes, as lay people, we can live holy lives. We can be inspired by lay people like us who lived ordinary lives witnessing for the Lord. Just like Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati, he showered his wealth of blessings to the poor. Pierre Giorgio Frassati was born in 1901 in Turin, Italy to wealthy parents. Though born to a wealthy family, Pierre reached out to the poor. Pierre said, Charity is not enough. We need social reform. Like his father, Pierre established the newspaper Momento. The publication was based on Pope Leo XIII's encyclical Rerum Novarum. Pierre always gave what little money he had to those he saw as more needy than he was. Pierre once joined a Catholic demonstration in Rome. In the demonstration, he was beaten by the police. At the hospital, Pierre refused special treatment because of his father's connections. His life came to an abrupt end at the age of 24. Then he was diagnosed with poliomyelitis. A few months later, he succumbed to the disease. He died in 1925. His funeral was attended by thousands of the poor of Turin. Frassati was beatified in 1990 by Blessed Pope John Paul II. Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati did not let the blessings of his wealth spoil him. Instead, he shared this with the less fortunate. Like Blessed Pierre Giorgio Frassati, you and I can share our blessings with the less fortunate. Let us all be inspired by the lives of our modern day and Filipino saints. And you too may inspire others to be holy.